All right, people. I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. So, welcome to an Academy Neat English. In this particular session, I will be talking about what will be the strategy or what are the points that you need to keep in your mind so that you can get selected in Neat 2026. Okay. See, there are a lot of students who come to us and they ask us, sir, please tell us the plan. Please tell us the way which we are supposed to follow so that we can enter into the medical college just in the first year itself. Okay. So that we don't have to take any sort of drop. After we finish our 12th and then we go and give the need, we should be able to crack this need in the first attempt itself. So my dear friends, there are some rules and protocols that you need to exactly follow that will ensure your selection. Make sure you watch this particular video till the end. Then only, then only you can get, we say, the maximum score in your need and you can enter the medical college. The first thing is, see, this, this strategy is, we say, for NEET 2026 students. Now, what are the things you guys should basically keep in your mind before starting the strategy? Okay. So, let's suppose if they, there are students out there who are still thinking, sir, when am I supposed to start? From where I am supposed to start? How many hours I am supposed to start? How many hours I am supposed to study every single day? We say for those students, we say the first thing is when to start. So are you going to, are you supposed to start tonight? Are you supposed to start, we say tomorrow? Or we say, is it a right now itself? Okay. So my dear friends, you will have to, you will have to think about this right now. If you keep it for tomorrow, then, then, then you will be keep on delaying it, delaying it, delaying it. So right now you have to go for this. We say right now itself. Now, in the first 24 hours, what is the task that you guys are supposed to do? So the first thing is understand need. Understand the pattern. What are the pattern of questions which are being asked in this particular examination? Like you have statement based questions. You have, we say, uh, in, in need to have uh, the marks out of 720, 180 marks in physics, 180 marks in chemistry, 360 in biology. So you'll have to basically analyze each and every single thing so that you can move accordingly into this particular preparation. preparation. And, and then we have, you'll have to do research on a lot of things out there. Like, like we say syllabus. What is the syllabus in chemistry? What is the syllabus in physics? What is the syllabus in biology? What are the topics which have been deleted already? What are the topics which have been added? What are the topics which are having the highest weightage? What pattern of questions have been introduced or what are the pattern of questions they have been asking in the NEET exam previously? And most importantly, the sample papers or we say previous year papers, you will have to, you will have to basically, uh, Keep all of those with you in the starting itself. Then my dear friends, then my dear friends, what should be your study routine? This is the common question that people ask generally. What is my study? What should be my study routine? I won't be, I, I won't say you that you should be able, you should be studying for we say 17, 18, 19 hours or something like that. No, no, no. Just I say 12 hours of daily study is enough. It is more than sufficient, I'm giving you the guarantee. But this 12 hours of continuous study, has there has to be proper consistency in this. You have to be very consistent. Every single day, you guys are supposed to learn for 12 hours. Now, we say six to seven hours should be, should we go for, uh, it should be for the lectures. Like if you are learning in a batch, in that batch, you will be studying for the six to seven hours will be the classes only. And then when we talk about the self-study, self-study you guys are supposed to do for five to six hours. And in this self-study, you will have to revise, you will have to do each and everything that we will basically put up over here. Now the question is, what should be the approach in this particular case? The first is, we say physics. Let's talk about the physics. What is the weekly schedule that you guys are supposed to follow in physics? So first is, we say, sir, Monday to Friday, you will have to study physics. We say, let's suppose you, will, you are having the lecture of two hours every single day, which you basically uh, learn with the teacher, okay? So this two hours with the teachers, teacher in the teacher's class. And then we say 1.5 hours should be the practice in, in, in your physics. And total of, total of, we say 3.5 hours daily. Whatever you study in this lecture, you will have to revise that. And afterwards, you will have to do the practice. You will have to do the practice. From your end, that is total of 3.5 hours. 
and then my dear friends we say in this you will have to go with the live lectures okay and 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 my dear friends my dear friends once you are done with the live lectures of every single chapter afterwards you will have to go with the detailed one shots okay like 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 once you are done with the chapter afterwards you will have to go with the one shot of that particular chapter so that so that you can revise each and every single thing in that particular we say one shot here it should not be detailed here it should be revised one shot but make sure every topic is covered in that particular one shot and then we say you guys are supposed to make the handwritten notes also because at the end of the day when you revise a question when you revise any subject within just one day do you guys know what will help you at that point of time it is only the handwritten notes it is not the teacher's notes it's the notes which you guys have written in the classes itself by your own hands and then we say practice a minimum of 100 questions per chapter you guys are supposed to and from 100 to, i must say from 100 to 200 question you guys are supposed to solo in uh, in every single chapter next we say previous year questions in physics are important so you will have to while you are studying for the entire physics previous year questions you guys should keep in your mind example or whatever is given in the ncrt we say in text questions all of these are extremely important and you have to keep all of these in your mind okay and then my dear friends we say stick to a particular teacher make sure make sure if you are learning from any single teacher stick to that particular teacher for the entire year don't keep on roaming here and there you'll say sir i'll today i'll learn from that teacher today tomorrow i'll go with that teacher no 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 that is definitely going to waste your time only and on Sundays, you will have to basically go for the weekly tests. And, and we say, we say that is weekly revisions over here. We say weekly revisions over here. And my dear friends, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, let me just tell you. When it comes to the chemistry, we say weekly schedule has to be from Monday to Friday. Two hours lecture and one, CR, one, one hour of NCRT reading. Because when it comes to the chemistry, NCRT reading is extremely important. Okay be it uh, organic chemistry or be it, be it in, inorganic chemistry. And then we say one hour of practice you guys are supposed to do and so that four hours you guys are supposed to give in the chemistry because it's a lengthy subject, was subject. That's why I have put up over here four hours every single day. Next, my dear friends, live lectures over here also and revision one shots after that. Handwritten notes are important in this chemistry also. We say practice a minimum of 150 to 200 questions per chapter. We say previous year questions, exemplar, in-text questions, all of these are important. All of these are important from, from we say chemistry perspective, okay? Next, next, we say stick to a particular teacher. On Sundays, you will have to go for the tests and weekly revisions. Whatever you have studied for the entire week, you will have to do its revision as well as you will have to give the test at the end of the week. Extremely mandatory, extremely mandatory. Next, we have biology, live lectures and one shots okay same handwritten notes over here practice no limit previous year questions exemplar in text questions memorize diagrams charts and graphs in when it comes to the biology charts graphs all of these you guys are supposed to memorize because that is extremely important and next we have mind maps in case of biology you guys are supposed to make separately and we say stick to a particular teacher weekly test on sundays and weekly revision over here okay now, my dear friends, listen to me very carefully. So we say once you are done with the each and every single thing, we say then you will have to go with the comprehensive revision, full length mock tests and analysis and practice. This, this, we will be telling you later on, separate video will come on to this also. Now, 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 my dear friends, you ask me, sir, you have told us the detailed strategy, how to learn the biology, physics, chemistry, what are the things which are important? Sir, is there any batch in which all of these are present, in which all of these are present, my dear friends, my dear friends, let me just tell you, let me just tell you over here, we have this particular batch, we have this particular batch, that is Nimbus 2.0, that is coming up onto this particular channel, that is by Team Avengers, okay, so this is for NEET 2026 students, everything will be taught in detail okay completely from the scratch if you haven't joined this batch guys guys 
वॉट एवर द फीचर्स आई टोल्ड यू बिफोर वॉट एवर द थिंग्स आई टोल्ड यू बिफोर दैट यू गाइज आर सपोज टू फॉलो दीज वी से ऑल ऑफ दीज विल बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर बैच एंड दिस इज जस्ट फॉर वी से फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी नाइन रुपीज एज ऑफ नाउ बट वेन इट कम्स टू द फ्यूचर द प्राइजेज आर गोइंग टू राइज दैट्स फॉर श्योर ओके so at that point of time if you buy it right now at that point of time you are going to thank me that's for sure that's the reason i suggest you to buy it right now because everything whatever i have mentioned is present in this particular batch okay so i'll be teaching the complete physics wasim sir hsp sir complete chemistry and uh, ambika ma'am will be teaching you the complete biology so my dear friends if you have not enrolled yet enroll as soon as possible the link is in the description of this particular video click on to that link and enroll and enroll you will basically you will basically be able to enter this batch because i don't want to i don't want to uh, i don't want you guys to miss out this particular batch so thank you so much this was all about it take care and bye bye